Hello again Mercedes fans and resin car collectors. Well, you know, I bought this brand before with the resins and I was quite let down. You might want to look that one up. It was called the, well, some other Mercedes, but I can't recall what it was right now. Anyways, this showed up in the mail and uh, I took it out of the packaging already. Uh, but here we are. So, it says here Pro R64, that means Pro Resin 64, done by Schuko, which is a German toy company. And then, uh, this is officially licensed by Mercedes, and it's officially called the AM AMG Vision G Silver in 164. They had other black and I think a dark charcoal metallic or something like that. But, uh, I go with silver because that's what the real photograph is showing me. This was originally designed for Gran Turismo, the PlayStation video game, but they brought it into reality by making a full model, and rumor is they may have made, like, some other company in 2013 may have made some replicas. Uh, let's see here. It's supposed to be powered by a, either a 5.5 liter or a 6.2 liter V8. I don't know why there's two listings on Wikipedia. Anyways, man. This uh, case has these teeth with the, uh, there we go. So I literally am going to have to push this tab inwards in order to get it out there. One nice thing about that, I guess, is it can't fall apart very easily. If you pick it up by the lid, the model's not going to just fall on the floor. But the bad part is, it's really difficult to open. I'm trying to, there we go. Uh, the reason why this is so tall is uh, Shuko has like a, a G-Wagon, a giant G650 or something, so it has to be tall. Unfortunately, it looks like there's some silver paint. Oh my goodness, I hope that silver paint doesn't belong on the model. Look at this. All that paint is just floating around inside. Ah, man, let's hope for the best. I'm, I have a lot of bad luck collecting. So this is a really flimsy base as well. I wasn't a big fan of this whole case because it doesn't fit a standard size. You know, it's not the same as the other brands. So you can't stack this up, which I like to do. But anyways, if you don't know what the car is, it's nice that the base tells you what it is. So that's good. I don't see any antennas or tow hooks sticking out. And I'm going to swap this over to a normal case anyway. So I'm going to take this off the stand. So two screws, and there's a uh, oh, rubbery uh, standoffs. It's just like a rubber hose or a plastic. I think it might be a, one of those water filtration tubes. Mm, maybe not. I'm not sure. Really, really long screw in the back to get up in there. That's a joke right there. All right. Now let's hope we don't drop it and break the mirrors off. All right, hold on. So that's the official car being in front of a Mercedes-Benz booth. Maybe that's the reveal back in 2013. This as well, uh, showing some sketches that led to the, this thing. So quite a long and low. And then here's a rear view. Hmm. All right, let's see what else. Another reason why I decided to buy this is the first Shuko I had doesn't even have an interior, but this one looks like it did on the promotional pics. So I'm hoping they did a better job, you know, with this uh, second release of theirs, or third release of theirs. Hmm. There's definitely some weird issues going on here. I mean, the real car has almost rubber bands or tires, but uh, this. It, like the gap here and the gap here are just way off, right? And uh, the front isn't so bad. That, that looks okay. All right. The silver paint here, I guess it's all right. 
And there's this photo watch piece of metal here. I'm gonna guess that's the door handle on the real thing. And then right here, which is kind of neat, is a little carbon fiber decal, some sort of side step, and it's actually recessed a little bit. Uh, going to this front wheel, we have a red center knockoff. I don't think there's a brake. And I think that was the case with the other one. See, that's just the that's just the resin back there. Uh, there's no there's no brake system. Uh, hmm. I would assume the real car has a brake system, right? Most things that roll, most cars have brakes. I'm trying to see if there's something in the center. Yes, I think there's a Mercedes star there. Mm, hard to say on that one. Let's, yeah. I think there is a, a tri-star there in the center cap, so that's a nice touch right there. Okay, so the mirrors are separate little pieces, of course, and there's a reflective sticker or not? I don't think there is. I think it's just silver paint. Hmm. I mean, it's a really tiny, tiny, tiny mirror, though. I mean, look at this dental pick. So maybe that would explain why there's no sticker there. It's just not much material to stick onto. Let's go to the back since we're out of here. There's a big red line cutting through this whole thing. And uh, this is recessed. Yeah, okay. So then this back grill thing is all like a separate piece of chrome plastic, I imagine, with some black paint in there as well as the red. There's a decal, I think, here. Yep, I just pushed the air bubble down. So it's black with some red, probably like some LED lights or something. Hmm. All right, and then uh, some sort of minor detail, but no paint. I'm going to assume there's a vent here. Yeah, there's a vent here on the real car. But Chuko skipped the black paint, which I think is pretty weak for the cost of this model. There's a carbon fiber decal here on this lip. Same on that side. A really nice uh, Mercedes badge here. It's three-dimensional. So it's also recessed. So there's a circular recess and they laid, they laid this badge inside of it. So that's a really, really cool touch uh, on Chico's part. Um, the panel gaps are not very good though. You see how this is continuous? But look here. It's like the gap isn't there. It's almost like this model was handmade and not, not made by a machine. You know, like someone literally scribed this, but they didn't scribe it enough. I'm gonna guess these are fuel fillers or something. Uh, I don't think they're separate pieces. I think they're just part of the mold, the casting itself. I don't think that's a separate piece. You would think that they would have those separate, but they're not. Same with these things, whatever these are. <laughs> You see how s this one looks all right, I guess. Although that isn't really straight. Now that's sloppy. And then this one, yeah. I mean, they're not even facing the right direction. This one's off going this, maybe a few degrees that way. This was going several more degrees that way. Wouldn't they want to be straight with the parallel to the center of the car? So maybe these are separate pieces because there's no logical reason for someone to mold this in this fashion. So these could be separate pieces, but they just weren't put in properly. <laughs> hmm, so that leads me to the back again. This is parallel to the center of the car, but this one doesn't look like it is. So again, maybe that's a separate piece, and then they painted it all silver afterwards. And that's why it looks like it's blended in. There's literally paint filling in the gap. There's a small recess here, but no, no paint. There is a recess here, but again, no paint. So we have the sheet plastic windows common on resin models. And then, I don't feel any sort of, I don't feel any lip. So this black must be printed on. Uh, but if it is printed on, maybe it's, I'm not sure if it's on the outside or the inside. But you can see a tiny little bit of silver peeking out, so it's doing its job of representing the rubber molding. Alright, uh, let's go this side here. I don't think, did we look at this side? I don't think so. 
Hmm. See again here. This 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 line is relatively consistent here, but right here it gets thick, and then right here it gets thin. Let me check the other side. It's not as bad here. It gets a little thin towards this fender opening. So it's really strange. Okay. This headlight. So obviously it's a clear lens. And there's either a printing or a decal behind it with this little sky blue and red marker mark. Hmm. And I guess that is accurate to the photograph, so that's yeah, that looks pretty good. Alright. So black decal for the chin spoiler. And then this grill is a separate plastic piece, chromed out with some black in between. But look at this, it looks like the chrome is not there on a few of these uh, rectangles. Like it's either been scratched off or was never put on properly in the first place. I think this is white plastic originally. Not a problem over here, but it's definitely noticeable on these three. All right, so this star, there's no silver paint right here. You know, this, these two lobes are silver. This one is not. It looks like there's a chunk of plastic missing. You see, it comes down, it's going in, it comes out again. So this is pretty bad. All right. This is the nice badge though. Again, I think it's three dimensional. So I think there's a hole here and this this is recessed into it. So it's pretty good. But look at this pitting, 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 pitting. So that, I don't know what the deal is. I'm, I'm guessing this wasn't molded very well. Like there's an air pocket. Okay, on the bottom, we have uh, two screws holding it together, and then uh, you'll notice this tire is really not on, nor is this one not on, nor is this one. Look, the tires are all inset, an extreme amount. I think there's a lip here where the tire is supposed to be touching, right there, right there, but they're not doing it. And the reason being, I think, again, like the old other one I have, this wheel opening is too small for the tires. Hmm. Yeah, that's a problem. It can't be fixed. Right? So if you see here how thick the tire is down here, and then it vanishes up here because the opening for the tire is smaller than the diameter of the tire. That happened on the other one I have. Boy, this is an amateur model. Alright, let's try I don't know if we're going to be able to see into this interior because the windows are so shallow, but obviously there's a seat with head, head bolsters there. Some sort of orange. It looks orange to me. Alright, I think we might be able to see something in there if I get a flashlight. So the center has some red and silver. Hold on, let me hit the focus. Okay. So that's nice. It's red, silver on that center console. The steering wheel. Well, it's a pretty funky, like, Knight Rider steering wheel. But there's no color on it. There's no center, center cap with, like, a bend star on it. The instrument cluster, I don't think there is one at all. Not that I can see. Over there on the other side though, what's going on there? Maybe that's what it's, where it is. You'll see there's a silver stock for that thing as well. Those are those middle gauges we saw. So it seems like we have a brown dashboard or something. 
no is black <laughs> it's black but the the center of it's got some sort of printed events or buttons or something like that there is no instrument cluster above the steering wheel itself that's probably because this is a video game car I guess that's an okay interior there's no rear view mirror though hmm definitely obviously no rear seats all right well at least it's got some colors in there hmm. let's compare it to a couple other models now in particular we'll pull out that shuko the other one i'm talking about Before that, here's the Majorette one. I bought another one of my really early purchases. You see how Majorette, they casted in those details and they're all running in the same parallel order, right? Because it's part of the molding itself. So I think the other one, they're either separate pieces or the mold was done by some complete amateur that has no clue about basics in life. <laughs> I did 3D print my own wheels on this one. Uh, but you'll see, yeah, this, this, you can actually see the whole tire on this one, right? I think the Majorette's pretty darn good, actually. So here's that Shuko. So this one is, I think, I forget what it's called. But you'll see... The tires are a little bit oval because the tires are squished into this wheel opening. The wheel opening itself, you see how it's squished? The wheel opening is smaller than the tire's diameter. And I think the same thing is happening on this uh, new one, but even worse than this. At least on this one you can see the whole sidewall of the tire. But you'll see there's no interior on this. So. And this one is just way overpriced considering there's no interior. You'll also see this metal strip is peeling off. It's back now. But what's nice is this. it has a vertical Mercedes star. Wow, that's a long vehicle. That is really, really big. All right. So this next one is a uh, Para 64 of the GT63S. And then I'm going to throw up a UCC Coffee SLS. This is a freebie that came with some cans of coffee in Japan. Para 64s are pretty inexpensive models. Look how big that red car is. It is huge. It's probably like a four-seater, but with no interior, I, I really have no idea. Hmm. Boy, well... You know, I, I gave Shuko a second chance, but again, uh, Shuko's let me down. Everything for me is relative to price. Uh, this is an expensive model, more so than most other resins. More, more than any sort of Fuel Me model, more than any uh, JEC. Uh, it's, it's an expensive one. Look, look it up online. So, I like that at least the thing has an interior, but the main main problem I have is these tires. You know, the fact that they're so squished inside those wheel openings, they just, they don't make any sense, you know. They're literally pushed off of the wheel, and so I, I really think whoever designed these molds doesn't know what they're doing. I mean... You should know the diameter of the tire before you make the opening for the tire, right? But it's almost like two different people worked on this. One, someone designed the body, and then someone designed the tires and wheels separately, and they didn't talk to each other. Alright, so this is 
for this kind of price is just very amateur hour. This almost looks like something that I would make myself, like one of those resin model kits that I paint myself. So, it's not very professional. The grill on this thing is missing chunks out of it. The Mercedes Star in that grill is missing a chunk out of it. So that's another big detractor. And I guess that's it. The, the plus side is the Mercedes Stars on the top of the front hood and the rear trunk are nicely inlaid. So that's pretty nice. The carbon fiber decals are laid on pretty nice. The sheet windows are nice. And the interior is good enough, right? It's But those four things on the, the roof, those two things and those two things on the hood, how they're not all parallel, when Majorette will, will get them parallel, right? But a Majorette doesn't, it costs one-tenth of this model. Maybe one-twelfth or one-thirteenth. So, there's some serious problems, Shuko. You guys gotta clean up your act. It, so I will not recommend this brand to anyone. This is this, your second strike. Uh, I don't know. You're gonna have to come up with a really cool model for me to try to buy you got your resins again. It's possible. If you do it, I'll try it again. But uh, you are zero for two. Uh, it's not not a good track record. All right, guys. Well, hopefully uh, this has helped you out. If you're on the fence about buying this one. Those are the shortcomings that I, I, I see going on with this. But maybe you'll get a better one. Maybe if you buy one, maybe the grill on yours will look normal. And maybe those fourth round things on the top of the vehicle will all be aligned, assuming if they're separate pieces. If they're not separate pieces, then that this mold is just ridiculously bad. And then hopefully maybe you won't have chunks missing, you know, little little scratches that you would expect on a Hot Wheels you know before it was painted so casting casting gouges that's what I'd call those but there's nothing you can do about the poor design of the tire and the wheel openings you're gonna have that problem no matter you know what if you do buy this model alright guys thanks for watching another letdown for me but uh... eh whatever it's a hobby I'll have to live with it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around. Bye.